Food banks that rely on leftovers from school lunches are worried a plan to pair the programme back will lead to more hungry children. The government wants to swap out hot food for cheaper options like sandwiches and as political reporter Amelia Wade explains, the Associate Education Minister says it's not the job of the education system to feed everyone. Every week, the hungry line up here in Hastings. At the start of the queue... Please smile and carry on. Food served with a smile. Hello, can you manage it? Yeah. Nourished Fennel rescues food from becoming waste and they're finding more and more need help. We've you know, been struggling um, financially with the pressures, obviously, that are out there at the moment. Everyone's always got a smile on their face. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's great to have some food in the pantry. Among the food keeping these Kiwis from going hungry, leftover school lunches. It's fantastic because half the time I don't have to cook for myself because I cook different meals because of what they can eat. So then I, like, get the school lunch and then it's easy for me. You know, you've got to be realistic. It's not... Uh, the education system or the school's job uh, to feed a child 24-7. Uh, Associate Education Minister David Seymour is changing up school lunches to make the program cheaper. He wants more sandwiches and fewer hot meals and leftovers. We are going to provide school lunches very similar to what the other 75 per cent of parents are putting into school lunch boxes. It does take the pressure off families perhaps having to provide an extra meal for their children or it might be the difference between a child not having any hot meals that day. Nourished for nil and other food banks we've spoken to were worried that changes to the school lunches program might mean more hunger because the meals might be less nourishing and there will be fewer leftovers to feed others. So they want to see some of the more than $100 million that Seymour is cutting from the school lunches program go back into food banks. They have to then consider propping up the organisations that are supporting the community on a grassroots level. Uh, well, the other savings will go back into the government's general budget. And food banks will find out whether they get to see any of those savings at the budget next week. Amelia Wade, News Hub.